mass atrocities are being committed in the southern region of Cameroon. Hundreds of civilians have been killed and thousands more have been displaced, internally and externally. Men, women and children have been forced to flee their homes after government forces have burned down their villages. The silence of the African Union and the international community has been deafening. The cycle of violence continues unabated. Cameroon faces a descent into civil war if no action is taken. The AU has a mandate to promote and protect human and people's rights. The AU cannot avoid its responsibility. AU, intervene. The government started the killings, started, you know, responding uh, with the repression and not allowing the, 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 the population to express itself or to, you know, to demonstrate peacefully. So that uh, repressive crackdown on the population provoked, you know, provoked uh, the, the, the population. We have about 84 villages that have been burned down. And each village has an average of 5,000 people. So we have more than 160,000 internally displaced people living in bushes and under inhumane conditions. Uh, there are some people that have been shot with by the military, and these people are kidnapped from their hospital beds and given summary execution. Mm -hmm. There are mass graves all over, and stand as it stands, there is mass exodus as refugees in Nigeria. The United Nations the Human Rights for Refugees keeps it at maybe more than 20,000, but those are accountable refugees. Particularly my first son, he suffered the torture of the government of South Africa over of Cameroon when the, the students started demonstrating in 2016 in Boya. He was caught, although he was not among those who were, who were, who were uh, demonstrating, he was caught in a taxi, dragged out of the taxi amongst many, taken into a concentration camp. He was tortured. He was among them. Many died, and thank God he called me that after some few months that he was released. I would really appreciate. I would like the EU, the EU, and the UN to come in and mediate on this issue to to seek for long-lasting solutions to these issues. Uh, I'm aware that the AU uh, made a statement sometime last year saying that the Cameroon government should look at the root causes of this problem, but they, they can't just leave the problem in the hands of the government. The government won't resolve its own problems. It needs an external party to come in and, and meet it. The African Union is supposed to do. They need to walk the talk, and one of those talks is to suspend Cameroon from the African Union. They should start by doing that. They should put trade embargoes on Cameroon. They need these sanctions to be able to respect human rights. African Union is where our eyes are. African Union envelops ECOWAS and all the others. So if African Union is silent, then it means, I mean, southern Cameroons will be wiped out. The genocide will succeed and they will wipe us out. This is not only a Cameroonian issue. This is an African issue. This is a global issue. Do not be silent. Dare to care.